Hello. You know, I brought up, I thought I'd bring up a subject that is really important to understand if you're, if you've never been to the Philippines before. My first trip to the Philippines was in 2010. Uh, I've spent, I've been there multiple times since then. My wife is currently in the Davao region. I will be retiring in Cebu uh, this coming fall. But this is an important subject. So I went to uh, Creative Commons on YouTube and I looked up, happened to see this video on prostitutes in the Philippines, uh, in the slums of the Philippines, on Discovery 247, if you want to watch it. It's just a, a, br a brief one, and I'm going to loop this and play it as I'm talking with you to kind of give you an idea of what happens in the Philippines quite often with older men coming to meet younger, younger Filipinas. And the reason I mention this is because I want to tell you a little bit about the prison population in the Philippines. The number of expats in the Philippines in 2022 from all over the world, we have, we have uh, 199 inmates were Chinese nationals, 24 Taiwanese, 19 Korean, 12 American in the Philippine prisons. The average span, this is just the average span of time in the prison in the Philippines before you ever have a chance to get any trial or anything, is nine months. That's, that's, that's a low number. I've seen people, I've heard of people being there five years before they ever get out. You can get you do have a chance to see the uh, embassy, have the embassy uh, come and visit you, someone from the embassy, but it's not a pretty place to be. Um, the age of consent was raised by President Duterte from 12 to 16. And that 16-year-old can only legally be with someone within three years of her age. So 19-year-old, but that's even questionable. That can be suspicious and you can still be in real trouble. 17 is uh, is the technical age of um, uh, where they consider them adult. 18 is, uh, actually 18, uh, you're considered a minor if you're under 18. So um, the, t the two things you really want to do that I would strongly recommend when you're going to the Philippines for the first time, because you're going to see a lot of older men with a lot of younger women, is be sure and get her ID and show, have her show you her ID. They, everyone, pretty much everyone has a national ID. Have them show it to you. And the other thing is, is, um, don't be alone with a minor. Have somebody with you who's an adult. If you're in the Philippines, don't be alone with a minor. It's a foolish thing to do if you're an expat. You could be in real trouble. Um, prostitution is illegal, but it is throughout the Philippines. It's tolerated everywhere from the slums to Angeles City to the fine hotels, you'll find prostitution. But be wise with whom you choose and whom you want to meet in the Philippines. Verify their age. It's a, it's a country that is coming out of third world status. It's a developing country. It's a beautiful country. And the people are far more traditional in many ways, which is why I love the Philippines. But as a male adult, as a female adult, be really careful. Be very careful. And um, don't, don't, don't mess with the law. You don't want to be in prison for, in the Philippine prisons where you have 30 people in one, in one room sleeping on these beds and floors and getting rice and soup in the morning, afternoon, and evening. You don't want that. 
it's uh, and your chances of getting out can be pretty difficult pretty difficult so I'm just giving a word to the wise thanks for watching have a good day bye bye